A potential new Wii U title is on the horizon. With E3 2014 drawing ever so near, a new Zelda title may be upon us. Nintendo's portion of E3 2014 begins at June 10th, which is only 8 days from now. In a little over a week, we will have solid information on what I have been covering for about 25 episodes now. Zelda Wii U Since E3 2014 is so close, delivering more hearty information has been quite a chore. Nevertheless, there are bits of viable information out there to discuss with you. First being, more information about Hyrule Warriors Special Edition Bundle. Apparently there are not one, but two separate collector's editions. One comes with a treasure box containing an art book, Triforce Clock, DLC items, and the scarf Link wears in the game. The other special edition bundle is the Premium Box. Not much information has been revealed dealing with the Premium Box set, but it is assumed that will yield more items than the standard version. However, there is a slim chance that the Premium set will make it out of Japan due to Laura profile. Maybe other countries will get the Premium set. Only time will tell. Moving on, there are snippets of speculation dealing with Hyrule Warriors. Seen in this title screenshot, you can see a most intriguing figure. On the upper right hand, a dragon that appears to be Argarok from Twilight Princess appears to be portrayed. Can this indicate that Argarok is a boss? I want to make other assumptions about this topic, but I'm afraid we have too little information to jump on any conclusions regarding this, I'm afraid. Now, let's further discuss Hyrule Warriors timeline placement. As said before last video, Hyrule Warriors has revealed a strong plot unusual to most spin-offs. Due to this concept art, some have indicated the events of Hyrule Warriors must begin after the events of Skyward Sword. Not to reveal any spoilers to those who haven't played Skyward Sword, personally I believe we can all agree on the consensus that Hyrule Warriors begins between the events of Skyward Sword and Ocarina of Time. Also, there has been speculation on what this mystery character is found in the first trailer of Hyrule Warriors. Some speculate a playable ally due to the fact that she was in the sidelines and wasn't being attacked by Link nor the other knights. Other playable characters have been confirmed, so it wouldn't be a stretch by saying it. Now before E3 2014 comes upon us, I want to clarify some things with the supposed leak known as Shard of Nightmare. I have discussed this topic in depth in episode 23, but I want to make this known. Shard of Nightmare is probably fake. Screenshots associated with the screen has been debunked as screens made by using Gary's mod. In addition, the E3 list just screams faked info. The only reason why I'm reiterating this is because some Zelda fans actually believe Shard of Nightmare is real, which I wouldn't put too much focus on it. Moving on, some other fans speculate that Zelda Wii U will have the same art style and graphical layout that the Zelda HD tech demo showcased, which has been debunked countless times by E.G. Anuma as just a tech demo. A similar event happened when a GameCube tech demo was released before Wind Waker. Fans were suspecting a game with similar graphical design and what they actually got was a cell shaded Wind Waker. In other words, I doubt Zelda Wii U's graphical design will be exactly the same on what we saw from the tech demo. Now we hit the bulk of Zelda information this week, but here are a few interesting articles to think about. Zelda Williams, named after the Zelda series by her father Robin Williams, has tweeted she will be attending E3 2014. Zelda has done commercial works with Nintendo in the past, so some speculate she'll have something to do with Zelda Wii U. She later tweeted, it wouldn't be what people think. In addition, the Minish Cap is coming to the Wii U eShop in Europe on May 29th. In other words, it has already been released. Also, Nintendo has become more lenient towards its YouTube policy. Before, Nintendo would flag a lot of content uploaders due to gameplay footage. Now Nintendo wishes to form its own policy regarding splitting its revenue stream. Personally, as a content uploader, it is nice to see that Nintendo has finally seen the wrong that they did by hindering Nintendo's YouTube access. Pretty much 90% of information about video games in general comes from the internet, not to mention that popular let's plays and commentaries can actually promote some of Nintendo software. Well, that's all information I have to share with you guys this week. Apologies for the length of this video. I had some personal commitments to attend, so please forgive me. Next week's episode, episode 26 of Zelda News, will be a collective thesis and all my speculation I have made on all 25 episodes of Zelda updates. Episode 26 will be a collective thesis on what I believe Zelda Wii U will encompass. Also, there is a matter of E3 2014 schedule I want to discuss. Take a look at this calendar. Episode 26 will be coming on June 9th, next Monday, the day before Nintendo's E3 presentation. The entire week of E3 I will be uploading daily. On June 10th, I will be uploading smaller Zelda updates every day between June 10th and the 13th. The following, Episode 27, will be analysis on the collected material. Also, Episode 4 
of Metroid news will be arriving this Friday for sure on the 6th of June. Special thanks goes to Jack Nardella, Rockstone13248, Gaming on the Dot, Alan Vio, Cheyenne Spinax, Zelda Player, Jesse and Living Color, De Zelda Master, EDOG663, Infinite Obsidian, GameMech10, and Christian F. If you want to contribute for next week's episode, comment below with the source and I'll feature your name on next week's episode. Episode 26, The Collective Thesis, will be arriving on June 9th, the day before E3. If you found this video to your liking, please hit the like button and subscribe if you're new. Also, stick around Tuesday nights for vlogs and let's plays. Every Monday, this channel will be uploading Zelda updates, while Tuesday nights, this channel will be releasing vlogs or let's plays. Anyways, thank you for watching and here is the video of the day. Thank <laughs> you.